picking up picking up where we left off in the last video I kind of showed you a little bit about classes like you can open up first I'm in Android view up here so there you know select Android you can open up manifest file this will show you you know overview of your app but what I'm gonna what I want to go into is this resources folder into layouts and activity main.xml all of your designs are done in XML and there is a UI element or there's a UI for it where I'm gonna zoom in here a little bit and scroll over but this is the button I just dragged into the uh, I dragged it in into the last video sorry in the last video I dragged it in here but um, you know you can notice you can drag in buttons and stuff and this is just very basic and there's there's a lot that needs to be done here but what I want to get started with is actually to actually getting this app on an either virtual device or an actual device um, if you're on a Mac I think the setup is easier when I was back in the day when I was doing Windows you had to install some drivers and stuff um, on the Mac I just plugged in my I, you can plug in like I have a pixel here I could plug in or an X5 or whatever or 5x um, but anyways let's go ahead and go up here and if you notice this button right here it's uh, this is the virtual device manager and you can see I already have one but if you don't have one um, this will this will allow you to run your app. It'll there's little it'll, it'll pop up as a screen and you can interact with it. You can click on the button. You can type. You can use Google Maps. You can do all kinds of stuff. So if you don't, I already have one here set up. Like I said, have the 5x, the Nexus 5x with API and the level 25. If you don't have it, you can go to create virtual device, select one, say you know Nexus 5, hit the next button, and you're gonna have to download. Um, a version for like if you're going back to Lollipop or Marshmallow, what do you want to put on it? Um, I suggest Nougat, which is seven. Um, hit next, and you can name it. And there's some settings we won't go over. And it might be a little bit complicated, but I don't really want to spend this video doing that. If you need help, just leave leave a message in the comments, and I'll help you out. But basically, um, I want to. I already have a virtual device set up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit Control. I'm on the Mac here, and I'm going to hit Control R. This will bring up the kind of the dialog that you can either run it on a connected device, and you see I don't have any right now, or available virtual devices. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, oh, there's this checkbox here, which is pretty useful. It's it'll just use the same like you you can make some changes and do con Control R, and it'll still deploy to the same virtual device or physical device or whatever. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. This may take a few seconds. Um, I have a fairly fast machine, so it won't take too long. I have the new MacBook Pro 15 inch. That's what I'm working on right now with the touch bar, which I really like, by the way. There's some issues with the battery, but it's it's pretty good. Um, and this may take, so here it is. Okay, so it just took a little bit to come up. And you're gonna have to wait a little bit longer. The screen will open up and you see the Android logo. And after a couple of seconds, it should show us the app. So just give it patience. Um, and let's see if this works so there are the buttons we created so that's how to get set up quickly um, uh, with Android Studio and with the virtual device if you have a physical device it might be a little bit faster but you can still use the virtual device just like you know just like you would so that's I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and stop the video here it's a little short video just about four minutes but if, if you need any help leave a message in the comment just leave a comment and I'll help you out but from now on every time I do control R it'll deploy like you'll see it says Gradle build running but there's you know I'm using instant run so there's nothing to deploy um, uh, so that's basically how you get up and running with the virtual device um, and I think I'm gonna go ahead and just stop the video here and we'll pick up in the next place we'll actually do something where you can click on the button and the button will show um, a message. We'll, we'll do that in the next video. So stay with me. This is part, I think, two of 100. I'm hoping to do 100 videos, so we'll see how far I can go. See you in the next one.